Think of Rock Merritt, who saw a recruitment poster asking him if he was a man enough to be a paratrooper. So he signed up on the spot. And that decision landed him here on D-Day with the 508th Regiment, the unit that would suffer heavy casualties. And 70 years later, it's said that all across Fort Bragg, they know Rock. Not just for his exploits on D-Day or his 35 years in the Army, but because 91-year-old Rock Merritt still spends his time speaking to the young men and women of today's Army and still bleeds O.D. Green for his 82nd Airborne. Whenever the world makes you cynical, whenever you doubt that courage and goodness is possible, stop and think of these men. Wilson and Harry and Rock, they are here today. And although I know we already gave them a rousing round of applause, along with all our veterans of D-Day, if you can stand, please stand. If not, please raise your hand. Let us recognize your service once more. These men waged war so that we might know peace. They sacrificed so that we might be free. They fought in hopes of a day when we no longer need to fight. We are grateful to them. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I want each of you to know that your legacy is in good hands. For in a time when it has never been more tempting to pursue narrow self-interest, to slough off common endeavor, this generation of Americans, a new generation, our men and women of war, have chosen to do their part as well.